Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and this is a tutorial on supporting multiple screen sizes in Android. And we've already covered this quite a lot, but I just wanted to um, gather together everything in one place. And um, also I have a little bit more to tell you about it. So uh, I searched flickr.com um, using the option, there's an option on there that lets you search for pictures that have a um, commercial use license and I found um, this picture by um, let's see it's by a guy called uh, I think it's a guy and it must be Mario Antonio Pena Zapateria which I understand has a um, it has a GNU um, oh no actually a Creative Commons attribution share alike 3.0 license which I think believe, means that I can use it as long as I um, tell people who made this picture and what I did was um, the original picture was very large and I went to um, Google and searched for something like Android supporting uh, screen multiple screen sizes something like that and you come up with um, this link here supporting multiple screens in Android and I used um, these resolutions down here as a guide to which uh, which sizes I should have my picture in for each kind of device and then for example for the extra large one 960 by 720 I um, scaled and resized the image in GIMP and the free image manipulation tool to that size and saved it in uh, drawable XH um, DPI extra high resolution and I did that also for medium and low resolutions um, actually I did it for um, extra high um, high and medium and then the low uh, resolution one I decided that I wouldn't support that and uh, so I'm just going to support images I'm just going to support devices that have at least a medium uh, resolution which usually means medium sized screen and uh, I, I guess this isn't really an exact science because you can have um, different amounts of pixels packed into different amounts of spaces so the best you can do really is say you've kind of um, you know just a, a large medium and small or whatever different sizes of your image and now um, I'm going to declare what um, screen resolutions my, uh, my, um, my application supports in the manifest here so I've got this Android manifest open um, from down here and if you look at this manifest extras thing and you click add you can um, select this node supports screens so I'm going to click on that and then select it and click add oh no actually I don't need to click add again what I need to do is let's just maximize this and so I select the support screens node and here we can select which screens um, my application um, or your application supports so I'll say small screens false, uh, I'm going to say normal screens true and large screens true and extra large screens true and resizable let's say true and uh, I'll just save that up here and then if you look at the actual raw XML that's going to add something to your um, XML uh, here so we've got the support screens tag with um, these various attributes set to true or false and then when a person finds your application in the um, in the Play Store, the Google Play Store, they will be um, informed whether your application supports their device or not. So that's uh, that's just uh, um, that's it for this tutorial, basically. And um, of course, any images you have, ideally you want to save different sizes in these different folders for all the um, screen resolutions you support. Um, but if you um, if you just say one in any folder, Android will pick the most appropriate image that it can and resize it if necessary. So it's not a question of whether your application will function or not. It's more a question of whether it will function efficiently and whether the image will look nice or not. So obviously, if you scale up a very small image, it'll look terrible. And scaling down a very big image uh, on the fly is, is maybe inefficient. So that's it for this tutorial and until next time, happy coding.